hey you guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> sarah marguerite so today i decided to do one side of this face as like a mask and i was in inspired by none other than nikki tutorials so i don't know if you can see i'm gonna zoom in a little bit more but she did like an, it's called an optical illusion type of like look so it kind of looks like she just took like a mask and just like put it right here so she's just bomb so if you have not seen that video i will link it down below because it, it's dope and she's just dope and she is so inspiring so so let's just get right into it what's up you guys so today like you can tell from the intro, um, I'm going to be doing a Halloween kind of look. I don't even celebrate this holiday. I think it's the creepiest one yet. I just don't, I, I, I just can't. Like, I, mm -mm. It's super creepy. People having like um, ghosts and um, vampires and all that stuff on their like lawns and I just don't see how that can be fun because I get scared like easily but anyway <laughs> I'm just trying to do this so as you can see from this picture she kind of outlined the mask first so that's what I'm trying to do but I don't know like she kind of starts above her brow curves it down curves it down and I'm just using an eyebrow pencil for this, so it's nothing fancy. She came all the way down the nose. Okay. This just looks so funny. And then she brought it like around this way, so I'm gonna just. Okay, so here is the frame. So now, um, I'm just, what? <laughs> I'm gonna take off the cap of this. And this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Chocolate. I don't use um, like a pomade or anything because I have a, like um, thicker brows like already. So I don't really have to go like OD with the brows. But if that's what you wanna do, Definitely do that girl. Definitely do what's going to make you happy. So I'm going to go in. I, I've had this palette forever. I use this on myself. I use it on my clients. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is the medium one. I don't know why I got this one honestly. But I was just kind of in a rush one day when I got it. But what I'm doing. Ooh careful. We'll take your time. You don't want to go too harsh or too hard. You want to keep it right under the brow. And I just like to bring it down so I can kind of blend it out. And today I'm actually going to do the top part of my brow as well because normally I don't. Because I just, I just don't like the way that it like looks. Cause some people go OD and they don't really take their time to like blend it out and then you just look like you have like a halo brow and like if that is the kind of look that you are going for then that's fantastic I just don't personally like that kind of brow so this is what I have so far it isn't like I'm um, dramatic or anything like that like if so yeah I just like to kind of take my middle finger and blend that out. And for the eye shadow primer, because it is important if you are um, doing looks like these, and just in general, if if you are doing like makeup, get a primer because it makes the shadows um, 
last a lot longer and they become more what is the word vibrant is what i was um, trying to say because without it you can't really see like what you're doing i'm going to be using this juvia's place zulu palette and i'm going to pack this like tealish color on my brush so i'm just packing this um teal color on my lid like right in the outer corner in the transition and in the crease just just placing it all here because we're just going to cut it with some concealer anyway is that like a truck outside or what it's making too much noise but i'm just going to go in with this yellow and put that like right right here and pack that one right here I'm going with the orange um because that's what nikki did i'm gonna take this orange shadow same brush um i don't really mind using the same kind of brush and i'm just patting mm, nice that orange on to my lid to get something like that and then we're going to go back and blend it all together and blah blah blah, blah. but just right now i want it to just get the color in place next i'm going to go in um with a pink so she did pink next i think she did pink yeah so i'm gonna take the pink in the zulu palette like this palette is a1 because you have a lot of the colors and it's all in one palette so it's really really good um i'm going to pat this pink on and just bring it all the way up now it's it's looking crazy it's definitely looking crazy i'm i can't even hold you it's really really looking crazy but It'll look better once we cut it with the concealer. It'll look better, promise. Well, I'm not gonna promise, cause like, <laughs> what if it ends up looking horrible? But hey, I'm gonna go in with this, with this purple color here on this um, blendy brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just add it here to be like Nikki, but I feel like I'm not gonna like it. Oh, I shouldn't have done it because now I don't like this placement. Always go with your first mind. I don't like that placement. But whatever, it's fine. Okay. And just blend that. Oh, I used the wrong. <gasps> I used the wrong. <laughs> I used the wrong um shadow because that has shimmer in it. All right, and I'm just going and blending it with another Morphe brush that I don't know the number of. So I'm gonna use this BH Cosmetics angled brush and I'm gonna use a lighter, like super light concealer. Um, this is in the shade Cream um, in that kit. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to look into my mirror so just look like this and i'm going to see where the fold of my actual crease is and go a little above the line so i'm looking like it's hard to explain but i'm just looking I'm looking where it is and coming across going above that line. I don't know how this is about to turn out, but hey, whatever. Just taking some more concealer as I go. It looks kind of dope. What y'all think? I think it's oh, it's cute. It's cute. So now I'm gonna go in. I'm low key hype. I'm low key excited. Okay, I'm going to take Zuri, which is like a champagne type of color shadow 
and I'm going to press that into the part that we just put down with the concealer and I'm going to be very careful because you don't want it to go up into the rest of the color you know so this is what we have for the eye I don't like the wing I should have just stuck to what I was doing but whatever I'm going to clean it up um, later I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D tattoo liner in the shade trooper black and I'm going to just lightly line my lash line I'm going to um, use my what is this my Maybelline super stay up to 24 hour um, foundation and this is in the shade mocha this is full coverage foundation and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take some on the back of my hand and pump that join only like one and a half pumps one and a half pumps on the back of my hand and I'm going to take my middle finger I don't know why but I like to warm it up on, like on my hand before I apply it and I'm just going to um, honestly I really should have applied this first before I did the whole eye that was actually dumb I mean it didn't go whatever alright so I got that going and it's okay if you go outside of the lines so I'm just gonna take this beauty blender please excuse how dirty it is like I said I have to wash my brushes and that includes my um sponges oh I, did, I, I forgot to cut it oh crap oh my god <laughs> that was the whole point I'm gonna take some micellar water or something I think listen I don't know all right so next <laughs> I'll fix that a little bit later so next I'm just applying some concealer just apply some right there and I'm just gonna go and down over to my nose and take some of it off and press that gently under my eye to set that concealer I'm gonna contour with my um large angle brush from Luxie and this is an Anastasia contour powder in the shade Carob um and yeah so I'm just going to do my contour like I normally do and then kind of intensify it inside the mask so I'm gonna go in with this elf blush um okay and use this one that's broken this is um the dark blush palette quad thing i'm going to use ColourPop's eyeliner in the shade honey dude i think this is a nude nikki used the white but i am darker than her so i use a nude liner or like a creamy colored liner because I feel like if I were to use white it just would look too much Nikki used pink and orange so tons of pink tons of orange so I'm going to do that too and go back in the Zulu palette go in with the pink so I'm just going to really get that joint in there just to just to see and tap a little bit off and I'm just going to stamp that, stamp it where I want it to go on my bottom lash line. Just building up that that pink before I smudge it out a little bit. She did hers like pink, orange, pink. So I'm going to just stamp it in and see if that actually works. 
Okay, so I thought that my camera was recording this entire time and it was not. So what I did, um, I um, added a lash. I tried to fix this little part that I was um, talking about like earlier. I added some lipstick, which I'm gonna add a gloss to because I just like gloss a little bit better. I just was um, trying to perfect it, but I have to work on my shading. But I'm just I'm gonna add little bits of sparkle like how Nikki did. She put one above her brow, one right in the center, one in the inner corner, one on the outside, and one at the bottom. So I'm just going to follow suit with some sparkle real quick and then I'm gonna go back and try to like shade a little bit better, but I'm doing the best that I can. Um, this is like this is like my first ever like Halloween kind of thing. I don't celebrate it, so okay. Mm. I don't know how she did this. Like I don't know how she how she. I don't know. But um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna add some more shading and stuff to it. Um, but this is, this is the finished look as of right now. So I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. And yeah, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to also do the same and subscribe i tried to do this look to fit the festivities you know but yeah i tried <laughs> and that's all that definitely matters so thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time